Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here, and we're going to do another painting with my double split cup. These are cups that I make myself. I sell them in my store. The link will be in the description, or you can just go to my Etsy store. And I have some glow-in-the-dark paint. I think this is folk art, if I'm not mistaken, and it is mixed with Floetrol and water. And I had this idea, you know, it's kind of late. I'm kind of tired but also kind of stressed out. So I thought I'm gonna go ahead and do my idea and see if it works out. Now you'll probably notice this color in here. Um, there's two ways you can handle these cups. One is when the paint is wet, right after you pour, you can go rinse it out. Or like I do, I'm kind of too lazy to rinse it and I don't want paint in my pipes anyways. So once I'm done painting, I just put it upside down and drain as much paint as possible and then I just let it dry. It's not going to affect anything. So I'm going to put white in one side. I'm going to put black in the other side. And the white and black are Artist Law Flow Acrylics mixed with Floetrol and water. And then I'm going to put the glow in the dark in the middle. And I am going to put just a hint of the neon pink in the middle of that. Okay. So this picture will probably come out fairly light. I hope I put enough. Let's see. 10 ounce. Yeah. Should be plenty of paint. Um, it looks like I filled a little more of the black in though. So I'm just going to even out all of my sides. I need a little more white. And the fun thing about this cup is so many possibilities. I'm going to have a bunch of videos on this coming up soon. I'm going to try a bunch of different color combinations. I still need to do like warm colors and cold colors in one, in one side and the other. <laughs> um, now, instead of just doing a normal tree ring though, I'm going to go a little wild here. All right, I'm already really liking this. So I am gonna ask you guys to do me a little favor. Please, in the comments of this video, share any good news you have had recently. And not only share good news, but also congratulate others on their awesome good news that they have hopefully shared in the comments. Um, there is way too much crap in the world right now, so I think we need all the good news we can get. So that is my request. Do with it what you will. All right. Definitely liking this. I do not want that shape there. So I'm going to run that off the side there. Now these videos are not made for kids, so I'm just going to come right out and say it. I did not want a phallic shape on my canvas. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, that is super cool. I love just the like little pop of pink. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights. I do have a black light right here. Um, so that we can see the glow in the dark factor. And then we'll look at it with the black light off also. But I've noticed that that doesn't really tend to translate very well through the camera as much as it does through my eyes. So we'll be right back. All right, so here's how it looks with the black light on. And the pink is fluorescent. It looks glow in the dark though. This is a really old neon pink. Um, like so old. I don't even know when I got that bottle. So um, yeah, I, I unfortunately don't really remember what it is. But this stuff, Clara Lawrence got in Texas. And we mixed it up there and then she gave it to me. So that one's just the folk art plain colored glow in the dark. All right, let's go ahead and turn off the black light and see what we can see. Nice. <laughs> so 
can't see it as much in the camera, like I said, but it's still really, really glowing over on this end. Okay, let's just go in for a quick close up with the lights on. So this is the lower right hand corner. I'm actually crazy in love with this piece. I am so happy that I got up and just decided to execute this idea in the middle of the night. Love that pop of the pink. I think it goes perfectly with this. I was torn between the pink and using some gold or bronze, but I think I'm pretty happy I went with the pink. So just really love this. I love the swirliness of it. I'm happy that I didn't just go with the regular tree ring and kind of just went a little crazy with it. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making this awesome piece. And please, please, if you will, share with me in the comments any good news you've had recently. And, you know, go and uh, acknowledge everybody else's good news. Check out the description for all the materials, including my split cup if you haven't ordered yours yet. I've caught up on all the orders, so they're going out much, much faster now. And I will see you all next time.